So what made you want to become the breakout child in your family? One of the deals was about me taking a different path, was that I watched my parents struggle. Mm -hmm. And I thought there had to be a way for a better life than that. And one of the issues was my dad had a mental illness. Mm -hmm. but, but my parents, despite all of their struggles, had a wonderful, positive message for me, and that is I could do anything I wanted to do. When I mentioned college, they'd say, oh, that's wonderful. And that was it, because they didn't have any knowledge of it. Yes. It wasn't their path, you know? So they could do more for me that way. But I could figure out that I had the capability to learn and to grow differently than that. Mm -hmm. And um, it was, it was kind of hard, because they it meant I did life differently than they did it, and they didn't always understand. What was one of your biggest challenges in high school or college, and how did you overcome them? Finding your place, finding a place <laughs> in a group that had that, and there were three classes. That was over 2,700 students. Mm -hmm. And so there were um, just a lot of kids. And, and classes were huge, 40 and 45 in classes. So it was just a different time, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but I found that what I like to do pretty early in journalism turned out to be it. And it, actually journalism is where I got a start in writing. And um, so I enjoyed it immensely and found success in that. And then college challenge. <laughs> um, I had learned to study here and earlier in my life. I knew how to study, and after the first semester at TU, the first year, I, I knew how to get through college, the, the actual class. Um, and the biggest one was money. I had, yeah. When I went to OSU, I just went on a hope and a prayer, and uh, I had no money. I didn't know what I was going to do to pay the bill. I was going to go beg and borrow and tell them I could, didn't have any money. How could I pay it out? There were a few scholarships then. probably a tenth of what they are now. You didn't have any way to know it. With no World Wide Web, <laughs> and you didn't know, and I didn't know how to apply, and there was no one, no counselors to help us mm -hmm. determine what we're gonna do to get into college and how do we pay for it. So what characteristics made, made you the leader that you are now? Well, I, I think to some degree, you know, I was born with certain characteristics, but they had to be developed. I think I'm verbal, probably, is a big part of it. I, I've always been one to want to improve upon what we do, our organization, our group. And I was willing to put the time in and work on it. College was not a focus for Cheryl Malott McGuire's family, and there was no money for it. So she worked throughout college, earning 75% of her college expenses. Among her large extended family, she was the first person in Tulsa to graduate from college. At OSU, she earned a BS in education, an MS in applied behavioral studies, achieving the presidential and dean's honor rolls. For six years, Dr. McGuire was a special education teacher, specializing in moderate to severe mental and learning disabilities. During that time, she observed that many children lacked early childhood opportunities, which led to developmental delays. To answer this need, she led the founding of Celebrations Preschool, a nonprofit in Oklahoma City, for low-income, at-risk children, and served as director for eight years. At OU, Dr. McGuire earned a PhD with honors in Leadership in Adult Learning and Higher Education, Organizational Leadership and Change, Human Resources. She served on the OU faculty for 32 years in a non-traditional master's level program teaching leadership, group dynamics, psychological theory, and conflict resolution on military bases in the U.S. and worldwide. She served as assistant director of the Bureau of Government Research at OU, conducting research in automobile safety, including seat belts and child safety seats. She later developed and became lead consultant in a unique leadership development program for vocational rehabilitation managers in agencies throughout the U.S. and its territories. Dr. McGuire has lived and worked with a purpose, help people grow. That philosophy led her to become a founding member and former vice president of the board of directors for Will Rogers High School Community Foundation. 
She's the author of numerous articles and training materials, as well as co-author of a best-selling book, Ready, Set, Go! with Brian Tracy. She continues to work as a speaker and writer and has consulted with numerous businesses, governmental and nonprofit agencies in leadership, personal development, human resources, and change.